Proverbs chapter 3. My son, forget not my law, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them about your neck. Write them upon the table of your heart. So shall you find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to your navel and marrow to your bones. Honor the Lord with your substance and with the first fruits of all your increase. So shall your barns be filled with plenty and your presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects. Even as a father, the son in whom he delights, happy is the man that finds wisdom and the man that gets understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things you can desire are not to be compared to her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retains her. The Lord by wisdom has founded the earth, by understanding has he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life to your soul, and grace to your neck. Then shall you walk in your way safely, and your foot shall not stumble. When you lie down, you shall not be afraid, yea, you shall lie down, and your sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked. When it comes, for the Lord shall be your confidence, and shall keep your foot from being taken with hold, not good from them whom it is due. When it is in the power of your hand to do it, say not to your neighbor, Go and come again. And tomorrow I will give you when you have it by you. Devise not evil against your neighbor, seeing he dwells securely by you. Strive not with a man without cause, if he have done you harm. Envy you not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways, for the froward is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with righteous. The curse of the Lord is the house of the wicked, but he blesses the habitation of the just. Surely he scorns the scorners, but he gives grace to the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. 